Well, it's nearly 12 months and the old canter, she's been on the build for a little while. I've been caught up with filming with the Off-Road Adventure Show and dust them up and all those sort of things. But anyway, we're nearly there, but I want to show you where we're up to now. So come with me. Well, we're going to start at the back. And what I want to show you is in the back here, it's all been reinforced. And we've got the 25,000 pound Sherpa in there with synthetic rope. Then we've moved up and we've put this rack on here. And then we've got the Almac boat loader sitting up on top of there. And of course, we've got the old CJ sitting up there. She's been around with me for a long time. But I want to actually step you into the inside. So I'm just going to open the doors up so you can see, see what's inside here. And I'm going to show and tell what's happening in the back. So up in here, I've actually got, I've got the old bed up here if I need to sleep up here. Um, it's, it's also for storage as well. But inside, as you can see, it's pretty compact. I've got everything in its own places um, from nuts and bolts and screws or anything I may need along the way on the trips. I've got the Sherpa compressors built in just down here. I've got me safari cam for, for any washing I'm doing along the way because I just let it go while we're on the travels. Seat, table. And then up here, we've got this security screen. We've got extension leads and all that for 12 volt. I've got my expedition boxes with um, all my gear in it. And I've also got another couple of expedition boxes that sit inside here. Um, and behind me, as you can see, I've got the Elmac motor loader sitting in here, but I'll pull that out and show you how that actually works. It works a treat. I've been wanting this for a long time. I had it on the trailer, and now I've got it built into the back of the canter here. And of course, I've got my tire spider sitting up here. That's for taking the tires up and down in pressure so we know what's happening all the time. Um, and then we've got a few other loose odds and ends. My fishing rods go up in here. I've got a, my didgeridoo or yadaki sits up in there. So it's all pretty compact and it's set up how I want it. So I'll come back out. And of course, we've got the Enerdrive lithium system here with the DC to DC, the 60 amp charger, the 2000 watt inverter, the 200 amp lithium battery, and this runs the whole unit. So it's pretty cool. But I'll just show you quickly how easy it is to get the, the motor in and out on the uh, loader. So all I'm doing is pulling a pin out. I've got a couple of straps on it. I'll just take this one off. Just bear with me. Keep it pretty simple. Just run that up there. And then all that does is slip over across and then we can lift it off straight onto the tinny and away we go. But how simple is that? Now we've got the locking pin, so it just locks in place. Flick, done. So I can just undo that and off we come. Pop that pin back in. I'll strap that up after. Now, We've got the Legend X exhaust system on it. So they've built me a custom exhaust system. We've got a diesel tank, a diesel tank. We've got two 90 litre water tanks underneath. So that, um, so I've got plenty of water and that's also on pump. And what we've got here is the new all-terrain warrior rims on the KM3s from BFG. Same on the front. I've been running BF Goodrich on all my vehicles for I don't know how long, probably 20 years now. I haven't run a big vehicle like this before. I mean, I've always let, loaded up the old Landys, but uh, this one's a bit bigger. So anyway, underneath, we've got the parabolic suspension from All Train Warrior. Now that gives me some unbelievable comfort and articulation. Pretty magical, I've got to say. And then while you're down there, just in there, we've got the front diff. And in there, we've got the front locker. And that's also from All Train Warrior. Now I'll just show you up inside the cab. So inside the cabin, we've got our HX1 from HEMA. We've got our HN7 from HEMA. And we've also got the magnetic mount XRS UHF. Hat rack. Of course, I've got my gotcha covered seat covers, uh, front and rear. I've got my mine lab sitting in the back there. Um, so the whole idea of having this vehicle is to keep myself self-contained. Um, up underneath the dash here, I've got the cell fi which goes through to my GME antenna out the front, but I'll show you that in a minute. So that's sort of a quick rundown 
on what the vehicle's got inside. So as you can see, I've got a spare wheel here. I've got a spare wheel under here. Also, that's where my pump and tap is, just under there to the water tank. It has already got a limited slip uh, diff in the rear of this. Now I've got a petrol tank here. So that's for petrol for the quad and the tinny. Um, I actually, and then I've got another diesel tank here. Um, I just missed this. Up underneath both ends here is my uh, quad ramp. So the quad can go up on, on the back here. Now, of course, the quad doesn't fit up here when I've got this wheel here. So it's for the different adventures that I'm doing. So the ramps go up, quad goes up the back there. And then here we've got the easy slide. Keeps it nice and simple. And then we've got our pantry. So this keeps all the goodies in it, all the food, but also can be your bench for making up all your things that you need to do. I've made up a few little alterations to it, but keeps it pretty simple. And then of course I've got my top end camp kitchen. Now this, I can't be without. So uh, that's where I've got all the good gear. And of course, I have to use a step every single time. because I'm a bit short, suspension's a bit high. So I can get into here and get anything I want, chop it up, make it up. Uh, at the same time, I can use that on the uh, pantry as well. And then uh, I actually, when I'm not cooking on the fire, I have the, uh, the gas cooker tucked away in here. So, yeah, keeps it all nice and simple. And then, uh, good old Barney from Legend X, he knocked me up this snorkel. Something a little bit different. Um, so we've got it up. We've got it up a bit higher now with the air cleaner and whatnot, but he uh, custom made that for me when he built the exhaust system for me. Now, we'll go to the fr front and we're gonna go underneath now. You can't see it, at, can't really see it, but as you can see here, I've got an intercooler. Now we've put an aftermarket intercooler on there, as well as a turbo. So we had it all turboed. Now Turbo Glide done the actual turbo system on it down in Wollongong. And they've done an absolutely superb job. So it works an absolute treat. And I tell you what, all this thing needs is one more gear and I'd be, I'd be over the moon. But it gets me there, goes all the places I need to go. But now look at this work of art that we have on the front. Now the guys from All Train Warrior, they've done a lot of work on this. From the diff lock, to the wheels, to the front bar, the bar work all around the front of it, up round over the roof. Because up on the roof, we've got two 200 watt solar panels there from Enerdrive that are powering the whole, the whole unit for running the fridges and everything else. And then we've got our uh, hardcore light bar up the top here. Hardcore BSR 180s. And then we've got the little light bar down the front here. We've got a 25,000 pound Sherpa winch in the back there. But the great thing is they've made this so I can still drop this down and lean it forward to do anything I need to do in the back there. Not that I should have to, but the cab on these don't tilt. So got to work on them from under the seat. So it's not as easy. And then of course I've got the uh, Selfie antenna on this side, uh, GME UHF antenna on this side, and then uh, 3.5 CJ up on top there. A really special part on the vehicle is this story that we have here of the seven sisters from Arnhem Land. Now Doppia, um, she actually paint, hand painted this on there for me over Christmas, and it's pretty special. And what it is, is the seven sisters are actually traveling with me wherever I go in my journeys. And uh, th these guys are the healing ladies, healing ladies and elders from Arnhem Land. So we're gonna do another story just like this one on the other side. But if you wanna follow what I'm up to, what the canter's doing, where we're going, the places we're exploring, make sure you follow me on Instagram, on my page on Facebook, and make sure you check out the Australian Bushman website. See you soon.